I recently did a video where I talked about different types of thermometers, ranging from your most basic instant read thermometer all the way to a fully wireless version with all the bells and whistles. In that video, I shared with you guys all the pros and cons and what exactly were you getting when you leveled up to the next model. It so happened that the one that I recommended to you guys was a wired system that happened to be three years old. So the company Thermopro recently reached out to me and gave me their instant read thermometer and their updated model. Let's dive in. All right, so in that first video, I knew that I had an older model of the Thermopro wired thermometer, but I didn't realize it was like three years old and I didn't realize that Thermopro has updated it several times since then. Now, if you guys remember in that video, I talked about instant probe thermometers. I told you guys they're great to have in the kitchen because they're just really convenient. You can take them out and check your meals really quickly. And then I told you guys that that wired thermometer, that thermal pro thermometer that I reviewed was the most reliable thermometer that I ever had. And it was my go-to thermometer because it just worked. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But I also talked about why I personally thought semi wireless thermometers just weren't any good. And a particular model that I was reviewing then that was given to me as a gift just didn't have the range. So I really recommended that you just go full wireless if that's what you're looking for. But again, the thermometer that I did recommend, the wired thermometer, was an old model. So Thermopro actually reached out to me and gave me their updated model. And they also gave me their instant thermometer and asked me to fully review them. Thermopro is not paying me to do this review. They are not reviewing this video ahead of time. They don't have any influence in what I'm about to say. The only thing that they did was they contacted me and they said, hey, we wanna send you out these thermometers because we've updated it, FYI, we think that your viewers are gonna be really happy with these thermometers. I will say, however, that I did ask Thermopro to provide a discount code or discount coupon. I'll probably pin it in the comments or put it in the description. So look for that discount code. I can't tell you how impressed I am with Thermopro's attention to detail. And that's gonna be a consistent theme throughout this entire video. And I'm gonna point them out to you guys as we go along. Okay, so the first thermometer that I wanted to review for you guys is their instant thermometer. And it's actually their TP-19H meat thermometer. This is probably one of the most basic thermometers that Thermopro offers. You probably remember from my last video, I had already reviewed an instant thermometer, but there's big differences between these two models. The model on the left has the printed guide on the front and all of the controls are right there for you. As soon as you slide out the probe, the model turns on, you have Fahrenheit and Celsius, you have a light, hold, all those features. The Thermal Pro model has the same exact thing. You slide out the probe, it turns on. You have most of your features right here, the most important ones. You have your light and your lock button. You'll probably notice that the printed guide is not on here, but no worries because they actually included it in the back. And also on the back, you have a hard press button to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And it's very tactile. I mean, once you press it, you know that you pressed it. It's also really hard to press accidentally. I really like that feature. Now, to be honest with you guys, I rarely toggle between the two units. I live in the United States and our unit of measurement is Fahrenheit. Whether you like it or not, that's what we're used to. So I don't anticipate having to use that too often. I do like that they moved the guide to the back. It makes it look less cluttered and it's not just regular print. It's something that's gonna last for a very long, long time. A feature that's missing, and I honestly don't really miss it that much, is the bottle opener. The last probe that I had, the bottle opener never really worked too well, so I didn't really care. What I do care about is the magnet, and this thing has a hefty magnet. It literally sticks to everything, which I really, really, really like. When you swing out the probe, there's a lot of resistance. That may be a good or bad thing, depending on what you wanna use it for. I can just stick this in my brisket or my tri-tip or whatever, my ribeye roast, and leave it there. It will literally stay in place and I can just look at the temperature. I don't have to burn myself or have to hold it or anything like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I noticed that right away. Like I said, the theme here is attention to detail. There's a couple things. There's a notch right here. 
the thermometer will rest and clip into that notch. So the probe is always in place and protected. This shows me that Thermal Pro is definitely considering their customer feedback. When you go to unbox this thing, it's really well packaged. They include a card if you scan it for both thermometers. You get an extended warranty, which is amazing. And they also include a battery and a mini screwdriver so you can install the battery. That's insane. For a budget-friendly thermometer like this, that's I think under 20 bucks, and they include a battery and a screwdriver for you, that says a lot, they're really considerate. Now the other thing that really impressed me, and for those of you that have little kids, little toddlers and babies out there, you will definitely relate. The battery compartment requires a screwdriver in order to change the battery. And they didn't go with a button style battery. They went with one AAA battery. That speaks volumes. That means they're considering safety first. Now in comparison, the other model that I have here is a button battery and there's no screws here. So you can put a quarter in there and if your kid's really savvy, they could open it up. For those of you that don't know, so many children every year die because they accidentally eat and ingest batteries, in particular button batteries, and unfortunately they lose their lives. And it's really grim and it's really unfortunate. I know Kids shouldn't be playing with these in the first place, but accidents do happen. And anything that manufacturers can do to safeguard their products speaks volumes. So how does this thermometer perform? It performs great. It's a great instant thermometer. The light's super bright. It does a great job. I found that it's extremely accurate, even when compared to higher priced thermometers. It was literally spot on. So that's really, really impressive. And it didn't fill once. It never turned off. It never had any issues turning on. The probe is accurate to plus or minus 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit. So about one degree Fahrenheit or half a degree Celsius. That's pretty darn accurate. And the response time is between three to four seconds. So it's gonna take it about three to four seconds to get the final reading of the internal temperature. You can literally measure anything. It ranges between negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. So what are some cons? I honestly can't think of any cons. It's an instant probe thermometer. I mean, it's very basic. It's designed to be very basic. There's not much more that they could have done. The next model that I want to talk about is Thermopro's TP27B. And Thermopro advertises this as their wireless thermometer. I would file this more under semi-wireless. The only reason why I say that is because you have a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter stays with your food, you have wired thermometers, and then the receiver goes with you. So it's not a fully wireless system. It's trying to find that perfect blend of convenience, but accuracy and reliability. The probes are packaged really, really well. When you unbox it, you have your transmitter, your receiver, you have two clips, if you wanna clip on to your barbecue for ambient temperatures, and then you get four probes and they are all color coded. The best thing is each individual probe has its own organizer. So the wires are wrapped, the probe is clipped on, everything is secured and ready to be stored away. You don't have that clutter. In my first video, I had mentioned that although I loved my wired probe, the biggest con is the wires, they clutter up everything and they're hard to keep organized and keep together. Thermal Pro kind of solved that. I love that they color coded it. Again, attention to detail. You'll get the same extended warranty with this probe. You scan a code. The build quality is pretty good. It is plastic, but I don't feel like it's gonna shatter or break if you accidentally drop it. It's designed to be used and abused, a little bit more practical. I don't have to necessarily worry that much if I get some grease or some barbecue residue on there. I mean, I leave it out there and it takes the abuse. So what about the probes and wires? I mean, are they heat resistant? Or are they gonna fail on me? Well, according to Thermal Pro, both the probe and the wires are safe up to like 715 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. That's insane. I think you guys are gonna be all right. And the temperature range is between 14 degrees Fahrenheit and 572 degrees Fahrenheit with an accuracy of plus or minus 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Although on the Amazon page, it's a little confusing because they have a picture that says, the heat resistance is max 572 degrees, but if you read the description, it's in bold and it's underlined 716 degrees. So maybe there's a typo there. When you actually touch or tap the top logo, the backlight activates. And that's actually pretty convenient. If your hands are dirty, you can kind of do the elbow thing and tap it and the light will turn on. So again, 
attention to detail. So let's talk about some of that attention to detail and how they've updated this model. Now, if you guys remember with the older model, yeah, I know it's old, it's three years old. It had terrible magnets and I kind of harped on it. I feel bad now realizing it was three years old. The stand was really dinky. Now this thing comes in at 20 bucks. The updated model that Thermal Pro gave me is a lot more expensive. It's around $80. So big difference, but you're getting a lot with this. You don't get a dinky magnet anymore. You get a heavy duty magnet. This thing's gonna clip on to anything. And likewise, the stand got a huge upgrade. Batteries are also included. I noticed that a couple of people were having trouble figuring out how to actually change the batteries. I can understand why they could be a little bit confused, but in the video, I show you guys how to install the batteries. When you turn on the model, you get all four probes and you can choose what each probe does, whether it's monitoring the barbecue, the ambient temperature or meat. You can also choose if you want that probe to alarm or to page the receiver or communicate in any way. But right now though, I haven't really figured out how to individually alarm each probe. It looks like if you hit the alarm button and sets it for all of them, but maybe I need to spend some more time with it. So if you guys know in the comments below, if you can actually set each individual probe to alarm or vibrate, that's really cool. So that brings me to the transmitter. The transmitter has a magnet, it has a clip, and it has a lock feature for the clip. So if you swing it out, there you go. Now you have a stand. You can set this down on your countertop or whatever, or clip it to your belt. You can go to alarm, vibrate, vibrate and alarm or nothing. Set it to Celsius, Fahrenheit, whatever you want. You can also resync it for whatever reason. If you lose signal and you need to resync it, you can. You can hold it down and resync it or you can turn it on and off. So really all the controls are done on the base and then the receiver is just doing that. It's receiving everything and it's going with you. The range is advertised as an extended range from their previous model and they're claiming 500 feet. I can tell you that that's really accurate. I went on a walk and I probably went down the street almost two blocks, which was more than 500 feet and I was still getting transmission. Now, keep in mind that's houses in between, cars and trees and all that, and I was still getting a reading. It's also overkill. I will never need that. I will never walk down the street two, three blocks, you know, <laughs> and leave my grill unattended. The only time I can ever think of like needing a fully wireless system is if I'm doing like a brisket or something and it's there for 12 hours plus, and I gotta run to the grocery store and I gotta keep an eye on it and like call my wife or something and ask her to dial in the temperatures, right? Because really if you're at the grocery store and you notice that your temperatures just dropped or God forbid shot up and there's no one home, there's nothing you can do, right? So that's really the only time I can really say, hey, I really need a fully wireless system. So how's the accuracy? How's the probes? The accuracy is amazing. I checked this thing against the instant probes, the meter plus, my older models. The only con that I can think of is it's not a fully wireless system and it doesn't have an app. You're not communicating to an app. It's just whatever you see is whatever you get. Thermal Pro does offer other models that have an app, right? That communicate to an app and you can monitor on your phone. I think Thermal Pro has their own app now. So, you know, this model isn't targeted to be that. So that's something to consider. I don't think Thermal Pro has a fully wireless, like, you know, individual probe yet. I don't know if they're working on something or not, but, Right now they have semi-wireless. They have a transmitter and receiver, you know, type of system. The other con that I have is it doesn't seem to have presets. I couldn't figure out how to pull up like, you know, beef or pork or, you know, chicken or whatever, the presets and, and play around with it that way. It looks like you can either select barbecue and set your barbecue temperatures. And by the way, you can do a minimum and maximum temperature. So if your barbecue drops below a minimum or goes over a maximum, it will alarm out. So that's cool. But then you have the meat setting and I can't figure out how to get into the presets if it has presets. So it just says meat and you set your temperature. Maybe it doesn't have presets and Thermal Pro just skipped out on that. And maybe the feedback that they got from their customers was that they didn't need them because this is targeting more like pro barbecue cooks, right? Those are really the only two cons that I can think of. Other than that, it's a fantastic system. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? What are my recommendations? Well, I really love that Thermo Pro gave me their basic model and a higher end model. And they're polar opposites of each other, but they're both consistent. They have changed my mind about semi-wireless thermometers. 
This thing has the range and it's incredibly, incredibly reliable. I really think you should consider both of them. I really think you should consider Thermal Pro as a company. I am thoroughly impressed by their attention to detail, all the little things that they do. I have their older model, so I know where they used to be and I know where they are now. And back then, even with that older model, it was great. It was reliable and I really, really liked it. But I remember thinking specifically, I wish the magnet was stronger. I wish the stand was better. And it looks like Thermal Pro really listens to their customer feedback. And with every iteration, with every new upgraded model, they implement that customer feedback. That's really rare nowadays. Not to mention that they have safety in mind. And then they also include the batteries and the screwdriver if you need it. How rare is that nowadays, that a company includes a battery with their products, right? I mean, you guys see it all the time, batteries sold separately. That's pretty cool. The one thing that I think that they can do to improve their models is make them rechargeable. I would love to see that, I'm an advocate for that. If you are looking for a thermometer, the Instant Probe is fantastic and it's incredibly versatile, useful, and convenient. If you're a serious barbecue cook or a cook in general, then the wireless, the semi-wireless version, the TP27, is a fantastic system with true range and reliability. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Check out some of my other videos, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.